Now we have the example of single tone signal. Single tone signal means the modulating signal contains one frequency component. Here in the single tone signal, the MT is equivalent to AM cos 2 pi m t and their corresponding frequency domain representation is S. Now we have the carrier signal that is AC cos 2 pi FCT and their frequency domain representation is S. So as per the representation of modulation index, we have particular representation of modulated AM signal. So by considering the modulation index that is equivalent to maximum amplitude of Ka into AM, in which the Ka considering the value of AC with it or the value of AC is equivalent to 1 volt. So as per this the modulated AM wave is AC bracket start 1 plus Ka into AM cos 2 pi f t bracket close into cos 2 pi f t. So by utilizing the representation of modulation index the AM modulated signal is equivalent to AC bracket start 1 plus MA into cos 2 pi f t bracket close into cos 2 pi f t. Further we get that is equivalent to AC cos 2 pi f t plus MA into AC into cos 2 pi f t into cos 2 pi f t. By utilizing the expression cos A into cos B is equivalent to 1 by 2 into cos A plus B plus 1 by 2 cos A minus B. So finally we get the AM modulated wave which is equivalent to AC cos 2 pi f t which is corresponding to large scale plus MA into AC by 2 into cos 2 pi FC minus FM T which is corresponding to lower segment plus MA into AC by 2 into cos 2 pi FC plus FM T which is corresponding to upper sideband of the AM wave. So in AM wave we have upper sideband, lower sideband and large band. So three terms are there. So by utilizing transform we get their frequency domain representation is S. So this is corresponding to our first representation of modulation index. Now if we have the modulation index that is equivalent to the ratio of maximum value of Ka into Mt to the amplitude of the carrier that is AC. And here the Ka is not considering the value of amplitude of carrier that is AC. So here the AM modulated wave for single tone is equivalent to bracket start AC plus Ka into AM into cos 2 pi FMT bracket cross into cos 2 pi FCT. So by taking the AC outside from the bracket and by utilizing the formula modulation index which is equivalent to Ka into AM by AC we get the modulated AM wave which is equivalent to AC bracket start 1 plus MA cos 2 pi FMT bracket close into cos 2 pi FCT. So very important point as per comparing of both representation this final representation is equivalent but and one important point also that the Ka is not always equivalent to 1 by AC it can be or can't be equivalent to 1 by AC so you always take care about it when you go for the solution of numerical problem. Now as per mathematical representation of modulated AM wave single tone signal, we have its spectrum representation. In spectrum representation, it is clear that the signal is present at plus minus FC frequency corresponding to carrier signal, plus minus FC plus F corresponding to upper segment signal, and plus minus FC minus F corresponding to lower side signal. So as per spectrum it is also clear that in AM modulated wave we have carrier signal, upper side signal and 
lower side fence. Similarly, we take the example of multi-tone signal. In multi-tone signal, we consider the modulating signal corresponding to multiple operating modulating signal frequency. So here, as per this example, we consider three tone signal. In three tone signal, we have three frequency FM1, FM2, and FM3. We consider FM3 is maximum operating modulating frequency and FM1 is lowest operating modulating signal frequency and FM2 is in between FM1 and FM3. And we take second assumption that the amplitude AM1 is largest amplitude and AM3 is smallest amplitude and AM2 is between AM1 and AM3. So as per modulating signal, carrier signal and modulated signal, we have the multi-tone spectrum representation as per this diagram. So from this diagram and particular color coding, we get one important outcome that the bandwidth of AM multi-tone signal is twice of highest frequency component present in the modulating signal. So here, as per the assumptions, the bandwidth of multi-tone AM signal is equivalent to 2 into FM3 because FM3 is our highest frequency component present in the modulating signal. Now we have the phasor representation of AM. So as per phasor representation, we take the coordinate system, rotate anti-clockwise at an angular frequency omega c. So here, the horizontal line is corresponding to our carrier signal frequency term that is fixed and present in the modulated signal. So it is done. And as per upper side band, that rotate anti-clockwise at an angular frequency omega n. Similarly, we have lower side band that rotate clockwise at an same angular frequency omega n. And the resultant of the AM modulated wave at an instant is depends on the position of side band phasor with respect to the carrier phasor and it is resultant of the side band phasor and that side band phasor is always parallel to the carrier phasor and very important point the three phasor upper side band lower side band and carrier have constant amplitude but their superimposing will produce the amplitude 